Nebraska Extension Forage Specialist Bruce Anderson says even though hay might be cheaper for livestock producers this year, losing some to waste can still add up and impact tighter margins. We talked with Bruce recently about reducing loss by changing feeding practices and using different kinds of feeders. We started by asking how big of a problem hay waste could be. Well, you know, it can be a pretty big problem. A, a lot of times we, we kind of want to get the animals fed and get out of there and get done with that kind of job there. But if we don't do it properly, the animals really are wasting off a lot of that hay. You know, we've got some research that shows that if you just put out enough hay there that you think the animals will take care of for about oh, four or five days, that they might waste as much as 45% uh, of that hay, maybe causing you to uh, need to feed 25, 30% more hay over the season than what uh, you would if you gave them a little bit more care, a little bit more restricted access to that hay. Yeah, what's the better way to do it? Well, there's a number of better ways. You know, there's things that we're trying to avoid. We're trying to avoid things like uh, the animals eating too much. We're trying to avoid the animals fouling their hay, uh, trampling it, trying to avoid uh, them using it for bedding rather than a feed supply. So really uh, things that we can do to try and keep them from getting it out in the ground and have access to their feet and hooves is, is the things that we're looking at. One of the ways to do that is to use various hay racks or, or bale rings that restrict the access of the animals to that hay so they can't just crawl all over it. Uh, and especially useful is if we're using those types of barriers that they have kind of a solid barrier at the bottom so that the animals can't stick their hooves in, which they, they typically will do in an open area, pull out some of that hay, uh, and that hay that they pull out, if they don't have it in their mouth, it usually goes underfoot, uh, and as a result, we end up losing it in those situations. In terms of times of feeding, would you rather people feed once a day or once every couple days instead of once four, four or five days? From a stretching out of the hay supply, certainly feeding them once a day is a much more effective way of doing it. Now, sometimes labor-wise, uh, we may need to use do multiple days, and from a strict nutrition standpoint, oftentimes we can get by with doing it every two or three days, uh, but if you're trying to save some money from the standpoint of how much hay you're feeding and even though hay prices are down this year compared to the last couple years uh, uh, our margins are even tighter so uh, we don't want to waste uh, some of that money on the hay that we don't need to so uh, daily feeding will really stretch it out much more fully. How much of a difference in waste can there be if you're using racks versus rings versus some other type of holding equipment? Well, oftentimes we'll see that if we have used something with the appropriate solid barrier on the bottom uh, and compare that to one that has an open bottom, we may save 10 to 15 percent. Uh, in terms of our hay, and that starts to add up pretty quickly in terms of dollars over the course of the a full winter. Another thing that a lot of folks do though, however, instead of using uh, bale rings and racks and stuff like that, they do feed the hay on the ground. That's, that's not unusual at all. And, and whether we're going to be doing that with, with ground hay, loose hay, unrolling bales and stuff like that, uh, one way to really help reduce a lot of the waste that can occur there is to one, only put down enough that the animals will clean up in one quick meal and secondly set up some kind of a barrier so they only have access to that hay on one side you know you could use an electric fence or if you're up around uh, uh, the farmstead you could unroll those bales or, or the uh, loose hay right along a wall or something like that that keep the animals from having access to get to that hay from both sides and trampling and laying down and wasting a lot of that material. Any way to ensure that all cows have equal access here and the big girls don't take charge? Well, the, the trick to that is making sure that you're putting out enough hay and having it spread out wide enough so that everyone can get access to it at the same time. Otherwise, the problem that you mentioned there, Jeff, certainly can be a, a challenge to deal with and we'll have some problems that way. <music>